Hello YouTube, this is Michael D. Provenzata. Today I'm bringing you a video of of uh, bookmark history. So here it is. So bookmark history. What that is is if we go to this, these bookmarks. I want I want to view them all. Uh, see if I can find the file. It's uh, it's at a uh, user root uh, app data local. Google, Chrome, user data, uh, I think it's default, mm, default, and then down here, what we're looking for is, uh, history. So let's open it with Sublime Text and hold on, wrong file. Uh, but uh, it's bookmarks. Open up bookmarks with Sublime Text, and as we can see, it's a JSON file. Now there's a lot of bookmarks. I have a lot of bookmarks. A lot. I want to parse this so we're gonna copy this put it in here and we're gonna parse it first thing we need to do is open it so with uh, open bookmark bookmarks dot JSON As S. Oh, I forgot that. Uh, we're gonna open it uh, recursive. So R, and then this is very important. We need to do encoding. Encoding. Encoding equals UTF-8. UTF-8. As S. That encoding part is very important. Now what we're going to do is bookmark is book book equals s oh json 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 dot load s now what we're going to do is print We're not gonna run that because there's a lot of JSON data. What we're gonna do is for X in book print X. Okay. So if we come back here, so to sublime text, we can check uh, we need to get into roots and then bookmark bar so we'll copy this so what we need to do from here we need to get into book we need to get into roots so what we're gonna do is from from data in book uh, root root and then we want to get into bookmark so we're gonna have another one bookmark a bookmark bar 
put up a bookmark bar. Oh, hold on, there's another one. Oh! Oh! Undo. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Thank God for that undo button. And then children. We want to try. Because if you look here, we're going to try it because... A bunch of crap in here. Oh, well, you can't really see it. Uh, yeah, like right. Uh, yeah, like right, right here. You see, there's like children. There's a bunch of crap in here we don't need. Uh, there's some back there. So we're gonna try to. Print data. We're going to try to print data. Dot. Uh, name in URL. Most inefficient way of making a new lot. Uh, not too bad, actually. Okay. Then data URL. Except. Oh, it's four. Oh. Root. Oh, it's roots. Roots. I don't know why it says roots. Yeah, but here it is. But if we look and see. Uh, 30 minutes of up. Why do I? Well, why did I bookmark that again? Emotional, emotional music. If we look, we press here. That only goes up to there. It doesn't go into any of these. We need to get into these. So, what we're gonna do now is We're in one right now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, here, children. Hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do? Is copy this control C uh, tap uh, control V and then instead of that what we're going to do is for X in data
and then okay, comment this out. See if we see if it works. Uh, interesting. Ah. Oh. Set a bookmark bar because that's the bookmark bar. What we need to do is other. Other. So roots, other, children. Now, that was all of them in the bookmark bar. But if we add this, we can quickly get we can get all the bookmarks one file deep we we need to do children at might be another um, for x and children because we're going into the ch the so i guess it's like these are children the children and if we go like that children here we need to get into these but right now we're only going one deep and that's how you do it so what you can do, you can make it all into a dictionary, um, name and URL, and then you can do, from down here, you can do for X in that dictionary. If, if uh, GitHub is in URL, then print out the URL, okay? But that's how you get all of them. Like comment and subscribe.